what is long put now this is a really important chapter because it will really change your outlook towards short selling now long put is in itself an option strategy long put gives you the right but not the obligation to short sell what does this like quote means it means that once you buy a long put once you purchase a long put then you have no promises to short sell what does it mean it means that if you are an owner of long put then it means that if you like then at any time in an american option you can go and claim that option that is you can ask the seller of option to give you short sold shares at a specific price let's say today the price is $40 you bought a long put the price fell to $20 on $20 you can simply like claim the long put that you have already purchased and ask the seller of the long put to short sell you shares at dollar 40 price so therefore he will be like giving you shares minus 1000 shares short sold at $40 whereas today's price is $20 so you can simply like get shares from him and sell it on the market you simply made $20 profit at that point number 1 number 2 let's assume you're short sold it at $40 but the market went to $60 you were wrong but in a long put you have the right to claim the option but not the obligation which means you can simply let the option expire if it is a 30 days expiry period you will wait till 30th day and then let it expire the loss the loss is only the premium paid up front either you are in profit or in loss in both cases the premium paid up front is gone and therefore the short selling makes complete sense to you because if the market falls it is a money making machine because you have no risk and only profit and in an american option you can claim it at any time at any time you like if the price falls till let's say from 40 it falls to 20 you can simply claim it the price can go to 10 as well and come back to 30 as well but once you claim it and like sell it on the market it's gone as simple as that the best part now you purchase a long put on the fall and basically due to the like fall in value of the uh, option increases so you are also like earning in that sense because once it falls and let's say presume you buy the option another option uh, opposite to it just to square the options you also earn in that sense now it can also be used as a hedge against a long position now what does this mean it means let's presume i am owning 1000 shares at $20 and i believe it will go to $100 the price rises till 40 and now i believe from 40 it can fall to 35 and then come back up so to save myself i simply short sell uh, i simply like purchase a long put which acts as a short sell position so i already own 1000 shares and if i like buy 10 long puts so it gives me the right but not the obligation so i know that if the market falls let's say from 40 back to 20 then what will i do i will simply claim those options and sell my shares at the top at 40 now we all could be wrong and therefore long put is the best hedge against a long position because you have the right to sell right at the top where you bought the put and the price went lower after that no risk at all and you can simply sh- like sell on top and buy again at the bottom because you are already bullish on the long term strategy so you get like best of both worlds if the option is exercised early or expires in the money then you're holding a short sell position now it means 
that if you claim like let's say that you already own an option and you exercise it then at that point your account will be holding minus 1000 shares which is like basically short selling the same thing or if it expires let's say after 15 days on its expiry date then even your account will be like credited with minus 1000 shares so basically it is a short selling position but till the time you don't like exercise it your account won't show that minus 1000 shares or minus 100 shares it will only show you a long pot which doesn't give you any losses because the premium paid is the max loss a long put is the best strategy for short selling whereas naked short selling comes with unlimited risk because if i short sold today then i know if the price moves beyond my buying uh, beyond my short selling price then i am already in losses but in a long put that's not the case as stock can rise above your selling price and continue rising in a long put you won't lose a dime more than the premium paid whereas in a naked short selling it's all losses whereas long put offers the same benefit exactly the same benefit without any additional risk or without even the risk associated with naked short selling the only risk is the premium paid as in long put that's the max risk it cannot exceed that and options comes with increased liquidity now you might see some shares some stocks that comes with like really small liquidity you cannot short sell it let's say there are 300000 shares traded in a day so if you short sold 30000 shares boom you're gone because you are selling 10% of the total daily volume that's huge but in like options usually even in a in liquid stock its options will be trading at a higher volume therefore you have a higher chance of squaring it out whereas the only difference between options and short selling is the premium paid because in options you are paying a premium in short selling you're not paying a premium that's the difference but if you look at the risk then all the weight will fall in the options category it's something of the best like stuff that there is to offer in short selling terms so that's what is long put thank you